previously on. <laughs> oh, this is so intriguing. Fucked up. But in Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. But you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God! Oh, my God, Matt! Josh was just pulling a prank, but there is still someone else in there. And that's who attacked Jazz. And cut down the tower. <sighs> is it Hannah? Like, is she still alive? And does she blame them for what happened to Beth? Seriously, what is all that's reaching? Then who is the front door guy? So 
that's what all the creepy screaming is. So I can access the episode menu later. Now. So hopefully I can replay. Uh, uh, I'm so mad at myself. Are you serious? Whoa. You alright? <laughs> Woods. 
the spirit of the Wendigo mm. shall be unleashed. Told you. Oh crap. <coughs> ah. He's realizing the Wendigo got jazz. And it was because of the miners. The You're miners ate a fire. I told safe. you. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. And going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. <laughs> You're going to help me. Do no, you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Good puppy. has been watching. Hey! Come back safe. <laughs> we need to hurry, son. I, uh... My cat's trying to play with my dog. See you soon. Kind of kind of unsure what to do. He kind of just looks at her worrying me. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh... What, what, what's a guy gotta know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And I can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like, it's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Wait, so there's been Windigos since... Well, what are these things like? 1952. I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. What? You mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Uh, pro Wendigo tips. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they How does no smell one me or notice Wendigos? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. They can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on change of the movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Alive and aware and feeling. 
peace on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. safe out there. I'll be back soon. Few of them have hit dead to hunt the Windigo. I'm the This guy's a little OCD. I'm the only man who has ever kept them under control. 
Heed these words or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and caves, craves food. Trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse often those companions who have traveled with him he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses i have seen it happen many years ago a craving for flesh that cannot be stated stated sad. <laughs> um and then the change begins the eyes turn turn first and become milky and white then the teeth become long longer like things the creature grows and the skin is pulled torn across the bones there was a tribe that lived in these mountains the Cree their shamans tell stories there's the a creature. lot of history to this mm -hmm. um tall creatures born in ice the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became um, sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred animal. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Windigo's eyes change, they become both sharper and more dim. The Windigo sends movement, it is a hunter like a hawk. This says that because the Windigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Um, it is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, the Wendigo would not be able to see you. The skin and the flesh of the window are hard like armor. They feel they seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, yep, um, that's what she just said. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infected the mountain. There may be defences, some wrote rituals, wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copy them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs and have tested them out. Out on the mountain they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay, not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I do not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Are we done? Oh. Oh no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? <sighs> Let me see that. Shit. Oh, because he didn't know all that that Chris just got told. Like, you can't just shoot the bastards. Oh, Joshua. You should have and there's fucking to trees. Because of your choices, so it is in his head. Died. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's death. Or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. 
No, it's all about you, John. It's always all about you. gone terribly wrong and your friends like your sisters have deserted you you're all alone can you feel how cold your loneliness has become huh? why did you hurt them Joshua why did you hurt them They didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. Yeah, so it is in his hand.